Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are going to be messing with the Hewlett Packard DAS again and last week or last week before that uh, we did a video where I popped in I think it was 21 drives in that NAS DAS it's a DAS sorry um, and they didn't pop up at all and what happened is that I put those drives in the back of the DAS and at some point I, I tried to move some of them in front of it. I had some out and I formatted them and I thought well I'll just put them in front of to see if they will work and they actually popped up. That was really weird because I thought that they were that something else was wrong but apparently the DAS box just looks at one two three four five and checks if there is some more it can apparently figure out to um, to jump over a few drives but if i just put them in the back it doesn't even notice them i don't think it's the hpa card because that uh, lsi 9207 uh, 8e is actually able to handle 1024 drives so it's not a limit there also, it should be able to do very big drives, um, way bigger than the two terabyte drives that we are trying to put in it. But let's check it out on the computer here and see what it sees right now. And my idea is that we should go and move some around and see if we can figure this out. I got some really good suggestions in the comments of the last video that, uh, yeah, we're gonna try some of that. Okay, here we have the virtual machine in Proxmox where I have passed through the the HPA card. We can kind of see it, it's it's there. I've passed that through and it works really well. Well enough so that I over here have this virtual machine. That's the console for it. So here we have the virtual machine and I installed this Mega Raid uh, storage manager in the last video. And we can see that right now it actually sees 33 drives. That's not enough there should be 40 drives in there so i am missing seven drives right now and it does tell me which slot they're in which is awesome that makes it so much easier to find the ones that are missing here we can see that number 13 is missing number 16 is missing and then number 19 and 20 is missing that's the first draw out there you see the Hewlett Packard box, it has two drawers. The second one is missing a bit more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay, number 15 is missing. That's actually not a lot. 17 and 18 is missing here. So uh, more or less we're missing about three drives, three or four drives on each. So. I think we should just start with this drawer number one and um, and have a look at drive number 13 which is missing and try and move let's switch number 12 and number 13 around and see what that does for us okay so out here in the data center a quick summary i can see that my brand new server is getting dusty that's not supposed to do that i guess there's too much dust out here that's not good we put in three new drives on that. I haven't really done anything since then on those. So, but today we're gonna be messing with, with those. I put the HBA card in here and that's the one that we have been passing through to Proxmox. And it's connected to the Hewlett Packard storage box down here, the DAS. And it has these two drawers. So if we take out drawer number one here, and try and switch those two drives around. Let's see what that does for us. It makes a lot of noise. I moved everything to the front in the hopes that um, everything would turn up. So we can see that there are seven drives in this roll, seven drives in this roll, and there is six drives in that roll. That's a total of 20 drives here. So when I have to find drive number 13, I can, uh, I can just say seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we can take this one out and just check that. That's a very nice Hitachi drive. We'll try and trade places with number 12 here and see if, um, if that 
does something good for us. So that just did not want to come out of there. So let's put number 12 in number 13 and number 13 in number 12. And go back to the computer and see if that uh, does anything good for us. Uh, it did check that one. I didn't see anything here yet. Okay, I'll close this up. In here at the computer, we can see there is two enclosures. That's because it sees uh, each of those drawers as a separate enclosure. And they kind of are, so that's, that's perfectly good. It still sees 33 drives, so it hasn't updated that. And we can see the physical, and it still sees drive number 12, and it hasn't found drive number 13. But there's an update button here, so I'm hoping that if we refresh it, it might go check some more. Um, unfortunately, that usually takes a while. Down in the second enclosure, or second drawer here, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna switch drive number 15 and drive number 14, those two around. You can see drive number 15 is not there. So I wanna try that as well, see if that, if this does any, it's not supposed to do this, I have no idea why it's just not popping up. But I have found that uh, moving stuff around sometimes helps. Okay, I did that as well. I switched around number 15 and number 14 out there and that helped absolutely nothing. And I have refreshed it a couple of times. So I think we need to try and reboot this machine as well. This virtual machine and see if, well, if that does anything good for us. I got some comments on why the hell am I using server 2016? Why don't I just use something that, well, this is perfectly well for this. It will, um, it will pick up the drives. As you see, it has picked up most of the drives and I know how it works, which is very important when you're trying to find an error. If I also have to worry about if I can figure out uh, Linux or FreeBSD or whatever, well, that's one thing too many. Maintenance, yeah, that's planned. So booting that, let's see if um, if a reboot will catch any new drives. Okay, it's booted, uh, and it did not find anything new. Well, I haven't checked yet, but well, number 13 is still missing. It looks exactly like before. So yeah, 15, let's take number 13, and uh, it feels as if the drive bay is broken in there but I don't think probably isn't the case. It's really weird. Okay, so I took the disc out. This is number 13 of uh, the, the first drawer. So that's here on the table and I have this little PCB on it from an external hard drive thingy. This is the one that I've modified so that um, it does not act as if it's a Western digital USB box. It just passes through the drive to the operating system and we can see that up here. It actually just pops up and has found disk number one and I can format that. Uh, we're just gonna put a GPT on that, that's perfectly fine. Make a new simple volume on that. See if that's what we're missing. It shouldn't be, but I might just call it something. Perfectly fine. Yes, yes, yes. So the drive is perfectly fine, no worries whatsoever. But why is it, but why is spot number 13 just not popping up? That's really weird. So now I have a new drive, it's D drive. I call it HHJJ, I have no, it's random. So, and I have it here so we can unplug that and try and put it back into the box. Unplug. There. And it spins up perfectly. There was nothing, nothing mysteriously about it. I also heard out there that it spun up just fine. And these are the NetApp drives. So Windows sees them, no problem whatsoever. So it has nothing to do with the, it has nothing to do with that 520 bit format that you can, um, you can be so unlucky to, to get. And it is a SATA drive. It's not a SAS drive, it's a regular SATA drive. So, but I'll try and pop it in again and we'll see if it has any good effect. Oh no, 
that wasn't exactly the effect I had in mind. Now it's down to 32 drives. Ugh. Let's see what we are missing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Number 13 is still missing. 15, 16. Not entirely sure which one is missing right now. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit the refresh button here. I would really like that number 13 to pop up. That would be awesome. It did not pop up. Instead, it removed another drive. So now we are down to 31. What the f is going on here? Uh, number 13 still missing. 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, and number 15. <sighs> It's, it's not going well. Okay, I've just made a list of all the drives that are not mm, showing up right now. So I'm gonna take those out and the ones that are showing up, I'm gonna move those forward. Uh, try and see if that does anything for me. And I'll take these drives with me in here and check them out and make sure that the computer sees them. Holy crap, that's all the drives that wasn't popping up as they should. So that's a lot of work right there. I'm gonna connect one by one, make sure that they uh, at least show up in my uh, windows here. If they don't do that, they, they could be broken, you know, but if they show up, they should show up all out there as well. Okay, last one of these. How many was that? That's nine drives that just didn't pop up. Uh, it hasn't got any better because right now we are down to 29 drives that are actually showing up out there. That's... Uh, <laughs> Definitely not an improvement. So let's see, it pops up here just a little bit when um, Windows detects it. There, uh, this one, well, uh, it seems a lot of these drives had no partition on them, uh, which shouldn't be a problem, but I have kind of seen that with a partition, it's, it finds it easier. And when it does have a partition, I just format it to something random and make a new partition so that, um, well, we did something. We can remove this again. There. I can get ready to install those nine drives again out there. Right now, minimize that, get to see this. We can see that we, oh, we can't see that actually. We can go over here and we can see that we are down to 29 drives. But if we see here, I am still missing number 13 here. Nothing seems to be working in slot number 13. That's not fun. Uh, down here we have 10, 11, 12. We have everything okay up to number 14. Cool. And here we have everything good up to drive number 13. Then we have 14. Then we are missing 16 as well. Ah, so I popped those uh, nine drives back in. Still no number 13 here, no number 16. <sighs> also missing drives here. Oh, where are we at? Okay, we have actually gained one drive now. Fantastic. This is really weird. I must admit that last time when I popped in the first 18 drives, uh, they did also not show up right away. Uh, more or less, it took hours for all of those drives to, to really pop up in here. They didn't just come by themselves, which was kind of odd. So I might try and give it an update here and see what happens. Okay, but from um, nine drives not showing up, I'm down to six drives not showing up. So I'm gonna go do some swapping around again and I'm gonna take those drives out and I'm gonna move everything up. We try some other drives and those holes. Uh, at some point I might get lucky. Really? Uh, now I'm down to 31 again. So I have nine drives here that are not popping up. This is getting really, really weird. So there is some of this that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I was out in the data center and I was messing around in disk um, draw number one. Moved a lot of drives around, pushed it back in, went in here to see if it helped any, and there was one more drive. But it was in disk draw number two. Uh, 
uh, which I hadn't touched at all. That's weird. So let's try and check it out. Um, it will of course make a lot of noise when we do that. We can also often see it checking the drive. If I take a drive out, let's um, release this number 20. So, took one out. Maybe it will recognize that that went missing. Not really. Let's put it back in. Sometimes that's enough to make it go through some cycle and check the drives. Guess that wasn't good. Oh, there it goes. You can kind of see it checking drives. And I have noticed that this one never lights up. So um, I want to move. I'll take this one and move up here. It's probably not going to check it. I don't know what's wrong with bay number 17 here. it checks but it doesn't check this one which is kind of weird <clears throat> the other one just got pissed and we can kind of see it checking drives here also over here it is kind of doing something even shows that it's checking number 13 um, I haven't figured this out yet. It seems kind of random. So that's the weird random stuff that I'm dealing with right now. Is the HPA acting up? Is the... Well, I don't think the server is acting up. Is... Is the pass-through acting up? Why should it? Is the Hewlett Packard uh, DAS box acting up and not seeing all the drives. Uh, out there, I saw number 13 blinking as it should, and it's not popping up in here yet. It might just weirdly pop up at some point. When I put in the first 18 drives, they didn't just pop up at once. It actually took quite a while for each drive to, uh, to pop up, and some of them I had to switch around, and then suddenly there was 18 drives. Number six was Bucky, um, I also saw that on my list here. I had number six, which also teased me when I put in the first drives. Um, but right now it's pretty stable, so that that's it's not supposed to be this difficult. It is actually more or less just supposed to work. So I don't like this. Um, it's it's kind of weird, but well. I'm messing with this. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.